Do you expect that Israel is going to announce a ceasefire? I do not. It's and, where they would release hostages. Well, I so, think it goes both so, ways, so, doesn't it? It could, but so the... the so, but, oh, wait, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. No, wait, no, wait. no the, but the right. resolution today is not is a non-binding resolution. Why, why, did, you could you, ask why that, did you abstain? Why didn't you veto? Um, we didn't veto because we thought the language in it was consistent. If that's the case, what the hell is the point of the UN, or the UN Security Council? Last week, when you guys presented your resolution at the UN, um, there were complaints from people who said that uh, it, it de-linked the ceasefire from the release of hostages. And U.S. officials were rather vociferous in saying that that is not, not the case. However, what you guys abstained on today does appear to de-link them. Is that... Your understanding of so of, we of, don't believe it delinks them. You see in the same paragraph it called the resolution calling for both a ceasefire and the release of hostages. It's not the exact language that we would have put forward, obviously, because the language that we would put forward is the language that we did put forward last week, but it is language that is consistent with our policy to call for both a ceasefire and the release of hostages, and that's why uh, we did not exercise a veto today. As I said, we did have concerns about the lack of other provisions in the, the resolution, but as it pertains to a ceasefire and the release of hostages, both the things that we called for were there in the resolution. The other provisions you're referring to, is, is there something more than just a condemnation of Hamas? That is, the, the, that is our... Um, or were, uh, were they plural? That, that is our, our chief objection. Uh, I'll refer to the the Okay, uh, but the abstention means that you're, for, you're, you're okay with it. You're willing to go along with it. And, uh, and so what do you expect now to happen as a result of the passage of this resolution? So I think... Do you the, expect that Israel is going to announce a ceasefire? I do not. It's, and that so, do you expect that Hamas is going to I, release yeah. hostages? So I'm, gl I'm, I'm glad you get uh, you mentioned that because one of the things that we have objected to for some time is that most of the people that call for a ceasefire, we believe, are calling for Israel to unilaterally stop operations and not calling for Hamas to agree to a ceasefire where they would release hostages. Well, I so, think it goes both so, ways, so, doesn't it? It, it could, but so the... the so, but, oh, wait, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. No, wait. no, no the, but the right. resolution today is not is a non-binding resolution. But okay, we do so what's think, the point? Well, why, why, why did you, could you, why did you e abstain? Why didn't you veto? Um, we didn't veto because we thought the language in it was consistent um, with something that... Uh, the language as it relates to the ceasefire and release of hostage was consistent with the long-standing so, United States position. So you don't believe anything is going to happen as a result of the passage of this resolution? So I think that separate and apart from this resolution, we have active, ongoing negotiations to try to achieve what this resolution calls for, mm -hmm. which is the um, uh, an immediate ceasefire and the release of hostages. I don't know. I can't say that this impact this resolution is going to have any impact on those negotiations. So, but those negotiations are ongoing. They've been ongoing over the weekend, and they've made progress. Uh, so I, I don't expect you to answer this now, but do you just stick this in your pocket? If that's the case, what the hell is the point of the UN? Or the UN Security Council. So we think it plays an important role. Um, it it does, range even though of, its action does absolutely nothing. A range and, of every, and, and that you're going to get what you would like to see, not out of the UN, but out of discussions in Doha. So we believe it's important that the UN speak uh, and the UN Security Council speak on matters of uh, uh, international security. It's why we've been engaged in this process, it's why we thought we were going to have a successful vote on Friday that Russia and China uh, unfortunately and quite cynically vetoed. But I do believe that ultimately if we were able to achieve a ceasefire and the release of hostages is going to come not through a UN process but th through the process with which we've been engaged, yes, in Doha. Thank you.